Ever wondered if there was an easy way to quickly format a set of values into thousands, millions or billions? Well, you're in luck as this is what we'll be doing in this video. Hi, my name is Jason Matthew and welcome to the We Can Edutech channel. I'm using Microsoft Excel for the Mac 365 subscription version 16.64. So if you see things looking a little different, it could be that you're using a different version from me or you're using a different operating system to using Excel for Windows. The concepts are the same and whatever I'm doing here, you should be able to do as well. But if there is something that looks a little different, please put it in the comment section below and we can deal with it there. So the trick with getting thousands, millions, and billions is that you use custom formatting and you use the comma. If you have a number in custom formatting followed by one comma, that will represent thousands. If you have two commas, it's millions, and three commas, it's billions. And basically what a comma is doing in custom formatting is moving the decimal point of the number to the left three spaces so one comma you move the the decimal point three spaces two commas will move the decimal point to the left six spaces and three commas will move the decimal point nine spaces to the left so i'm going to scroll up a bit so that we can look at the data set and i'm going to magnify it a bit so it looks better so the values in column a are the same as in columns B, C, and D. So we have not done any formatting as yet. The values in each column are the same. So let's go to column B where we're going to be formatting the numbers into thousands. So we first we select the numbers and then we go to custom formatting and we're going to be using the shortcut command 1 since I am on a Mac but if you're using a Windows computer use control 1. So I am going to but let's move the format box just a little bit. I remember the number tab should be selected and then we go to custom. Now, if you look in the sample box, there's the 8,000. That's the first number in the selection. And whatever we do in the custom formatting moving forward, it will give you a preview. So for thousands, I'm first going to use a hashtag to represent the number. And then remember, if it's thousands, you're going to be moving the decimal point three spaces to the left. So you just need one comma. So as you can see, it turned 8,000 into eight, which makes sense because you're moving the decimal point three spaces to the left for 8,000, so it becomes eight. And then we're going to put K to represent thousands. So remember, if, you're, if you want to have a letter or words, in custom formatting, you use quotation marks to keep it. So open quotation marks, uppercase K, close quotation marks, and then you click OK. And when I click OK, the values there in column B should be converted to thousands or formatted into thousands. Now remember, for custom formatting, all we're doing is visually changing how it looks visually. The numerical value remains the same. So like for instance, if I click in B11, although it's saying it looks like 8K, the numerical value still remains 8,000. Similarly, if I, let's say I go to B14, it says 1K, but you see the numerical values 1, 2, 3, 4. So for custom formatting, it's just changing how it looks on your spreadsheet because for us, we want to see that key, that, that thousand representation. Now let's go back to one, one, two, three, four. So 1,234. Now remember we are using hashtag and then we said key. We did not specify to Excel that we want to display any decimal values. So what it did, what Excel did was move the decimal point three places to the left. So it went one, two, three, and that gives you 1.234. And it looked at the number to the right 
of the decimal point, which is 2, and since 2 is less than 5, it rounded the 1.234 to 1 as the nearest whole number. Now let's look at this value here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If you move the decimal point three places to the left, it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, point five, six, seven. Since the number is 5 or more the, to the right of the decimal point, the number was rounded off as 1, 2, 3, 5, key. Okay, so let's do millions now. So I select the values. I click Command 1. And I go to Custom. I'm just going to move it just a bit to the side of it. Again, it's going to give me a preview. So in this case, the first value in that selection is 8,000. I'm going to go into the type box now. I'm going to remove general. And I'm going to put hashtag. And this time, I'm going to force a decimal value. So I want one decimal value to be shown. So I click on the period, sign on the keyboard. And then I click zero. And I remember, it's a million we want to show now. So a million is a thousand thousands. So it's six zeros. So if you use the first comma that represents the first three zeros, and a second comma represent the other three, so that's six zeros in total. And then in this time, we're going to be putting million. So open quotation marks, capital M, close quotation marks. So now we're going to be representing these values as millions on the spreadsheet. We click OK, and you see the values have been visually converted to million. But once again, if I click on any of these numbers, so let's click on the zero, you see it still has the original numerical value of 8,000. If we go to cell C12, where it says 8.0 million, let's look at the original value. It was eight with six zeros. And because we're telling Excel, move the decimal point six places to the left, because we indicated two commas, it becomes eight. And also we said 0, 0.0, which means that we are forcing a decimal space. So it was 8.0. Similarly, if I looked at C16, we move the decimal point six places to the left. So then we were left at one, two, three, four, dot, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. And it was to one decimal place, so we rounded off the five to six. So we got one, two, three, four point six. And I think you all got the gist of it. So I'm just gonna go quickly now and do billions. So we highlight billions, the values, command one, we go to custom. And again, we put hashtag. And this time, this is just to spice it up a bit more. We're going to specify two decimal spaces. So to force the two decimal spaces, you type zero, zero on the keyboard. And remember, a billion is a thousand millions. So that's a one followed by nine zeros. So remember, each comma represents three zeros. One comma is three zeros. Next comma is six zeros and a third comma will be nine zeros so in other words you are telling excel move that decimal point nine places to the left and this time we're using billion so in quotation marks capital b close quotation marks and if i click ok then that row sorry that column d those values are now formatted as billion values but always remember the numerical values rem remains as the original. So in the back end, Excel sees 1.23B, for instance, as the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. So it's still using that numerical value. So if this video was helpful, please show your love by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe. Bye.